Is that a yes or a no? It's a no, Your Honor. That's what I thought. Take him into custody. Handcuffed and headed to jail was not how William Montanez expected his legal fight to end in court. And basically, my client's been deprived liberty today without due process. To understand how Montanez got here, we have to go back to June 21st. Montanez was on the road when suddenly he got pulled over for not properly yielding. Montanez wouldn't allow cops to search his car, so drug-sniffing dogs were brought in. A small amount of marijuana was found, and now cops wanted to search his cell phones. And again, Montanez said no, so detectives got a warrant, which brings us to this constitutional fight. His attorney says cops are on a fishing expedition. There is no information that the state can show until I can challenge the search warrant itself that says, hey, what's on these two cell phones? are directly related to a possession of misdemeanor marijuana. Prosecutor Tony Falcone says the warrant is lawful. I think it's appropriate that the court order the defendant to show cause. After several minutes of vigorous arguments, Judge Gregory Holder ruled cops could go through his cell phones. They just needed the passwords. So out come the phones from the evidence bags. And then this happens. I don't know the phone, sir. Montanez says they're new phones and he can't remember the passwords. He then tried the second phone, same result. So the judge found him in contempt of court and threw him in jail. Take him into custody. His attorney, Patrick LeDuc, says what happened to Montanez could happen to any one of us. If they arrest you for anything, whether it's a gun, drugs, you name it, any electronic device, we can go get a search warrant and search it. And if you don't provide the information we need to unlock that because you want to keep it private from anybody else, we'll put you in jail. Now, the judge also ruled if the defendant suddenly remembers his passwords, then he can be released from jail. Otherwise, Mark, he will spend six months in jail for not remembering his passwords. Wow, that's going to be a long, hot summer and beyond. Gloria, right. thanks very much.